on this video, I wanted to show you all how to set up correction layers to emphasize the change in illumination in a scene. So let me show you how I did it. The idea behind this is that she's standing really far away from the explosion. So the shock wave shouldn't reach her. But if the light source is so big, you should be able to see changes in the shadows. So you have two options. The faster route for this would be to create another folder with different shadows and highlights. And then we can set up keyframes to transition between these scenes. The second choice will be to animate the shadows and the chains in the highlights manually. And of course, the second one would look a lot better, but if you don't have enough time, the first choice isn't a bad one. It really just depends on what you're looking for. However, no matter what you do, with correction layers, you can emphasize any of these effects. So for the first choice, that's exactly what I did. I created a new folder, and on this folder, I drew new shadows and highlights for hair and new shadows for the face. Once you have all of this ready, you can click on Enable Keyframes for this layer, as you are selecting the folder and this will allow you to keyframe the opacity of the folder in the timeline. And we do that for the corresponding frames in which this transition should occur, slowly fading and merging these two folders, giving us a rough transition. And this looks okay, but it could be better. So now to create a correction layer, we stand on top of the layers we want to modify, and then we select layer, new correction layer, and on this case, we are going to select Tone Curve. This will allow us to change the tonal range of the image by modifying the shape of the curve. And you could also achieve a similar effect with other types of correction layers. Like, for example, level correction. You could lose that instead if it's more comfortable for you. So what I did with this is to modify the curve to my liking. And then I put it inside the folder we already animated. And this will apply the change in opacity to this correction layer as well. I did the same with a correction layer for the background, and this is how it looks. And now we are going to try to combine this principle with a hand animated version of the shadows. So to do this, we are going to create a new animation folder, and we are going to animate the shadows for her individually. We do this frame by frame, but you can skip some frames. It doesn't have to be that precise. And also we can place this animation folder under the correction layer we already created. And this way, the curve will apply the effect to the animation folder as well. And this is more or less how it looks. And now that we have our shadows ready, we can move on and do the same for the hair highlights, all in a new folder and following the same principle. And personally, I suggest to keep the highlights and the shadows in different folders. The reason why I don't tend to combine them is because they are usually different colors, you apply different effects to them, and if you can even animate them to different rates. So things get really complicated if you do everything in a single place. So we create a new animation folder and we do the same for the hair, highlights. And the general idea I'm following here is that the glow goes up and then back down after the explosion finishes. And it is going to look a little bit choppy without enough in-betweens, but it'll be good enough for this demonstration. Remember to place this folder under the correction layer and this in combination with the other shadows and we can press play and see how it looks. Of course, this would look a lot better with the face shadows having their own animation, maybe more frames in between to reduce the choppiness, and in full color it would be more evident than just plain black and white. But this should give you an idea on how to use these features to achieve a better look and emphasize changes in light conditions. Anyways, I hope this was useful. You guys can check some of my work in my social media down below. Have a good one. Goodbye.